so what do you do when you have a permanent hydrocephalus how do you treat it the reason why i say permanent hydrocephalus is sometimes hydrocephalus can be temporary like in case of blood inside the ventricle or there might be something which is obstructing the csf flow like a tumor in which case hydrocephalus is going to resolve over time so you just need a temporary solution in which case uh, an evd might work but if you have a permanent hydrocephalus most of the time you will need a vp shunt or etv in some cases but if it's a communicating hydrocephalus etv most likely is not going to work uh, so obviously the answer is vp shunt but that is not the point the catch is if you cannot do a vp shunt then what will you do when i say you cannot do a vp shunt i mean you cannot do a vp shunt because the blood inside the ventricle has not resolved there is still some amount of blood so if you put a vp shunt that's going to get blocked or if there is infection in the ventricle even then that infection is going to sit in the vp shunt and that's going to fail so what do you do so we essentially have two options one is what is called as omaya reservoir placement and the other thing is a long term evd we used to follow this a lot of times in aims so long term evd is we put an evd but we don't bring it out here we just make a tunnel and bring it out all the way at the level of the abdomen it looks somewhat like an exteriorized vp shunt but obviously without the valve in it now let's see what is the advantage of one over the other uh, omaya because everything is a closed structure the chances of infection is less with omaya because everything is inside and you're just putting a needle under septic precautions and then removing csf whenever required while the chance of infection is slightly more with the long term levd on the other hand long term levd has an advantage that there is continuous drainage of csf you don't need to do anything it just drains continuously because it's going into the bag while omaya somebody needs to go and aspirate the csf at a regular time so if you're putting it on your resident you have to make sure that the resident aspirates it on a right time so that the csf doesn't accumulate and cause other problems